So for us eBay resellers at this time of year, it is a lot harder to get hold of stock, especially if you rely on car boots and, you know, stuff that is seasonal. Yeah. So we've delved into some wholesale. Um, we've got a big old box of cloves. I'm excited. So we're going to open it. We're going to open it. So this big old box, which is just beneath us right here. Yeah, we're looking down it. Just imagine it. Has come all the way from India using the marketplace Fleek. So Fleek is a wholesale marketplace. So when people say, oh, I got it from Fleek, it's not one place. Yeah. Fleek is basically the eBay or the Amazon of wholesalers. So there's hundreds and hundreds of different sellers on there who are wholesalers, basically. Yeah. It's like a hub. Yeah, so if you was a wholesaler yourself, you could apply to sell on Fleek. Um, so yeah, it's not just one company. It is a marketplace full of different, different people selling different, different stuff. So lots a lot to pick of from. yeah, a lot of women's stuff, puffers, certain rework jackets, lots of random bits and pieces. Different companies from different countries. It's a big eclectic mix. Yeah, something you can find um, exactly what you're looking for. Mm-hmm. So if you do enjoy the video and you do like what you see, you want to get a box yourself, use the code John Luke on your first purchase and you get 25 quid off. That's orders over 250. I've personally paid 480 for this. So I really wanted these jackets. So I went the extra mile to get these. So here goes nothing anyway. It is a tightly packed box, let yeah. me tell you. And this is our first view of it, so. Yeah, this is our first ever, not my first ever wholesale experience. I've had a few in the past, some good, some bad. It's mine. Yeah, uh, but it's yours, yeah. So, these are Carhartt rework jackets. And John likes Carhartt as it goes anyway, don't Yeah, you? and they are just really cool. There's some similar about, but these are one of a kind. I really like them. Really like the look of them. So, I'll be happy to get these on the store, to get these on the Whatnot shows and everything else. So Get them everywhere. Uno, uno. There we go. So, as you can see, I don't want to reveal too much. They are like patchwork, so different denims, yeah. browns, beiges, blues. Ooh, look at that lining. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that that's lining. That's a big medium well as well. Yeah, they're generous by the looks of it. Look at that. So you can see the Carhartt with and the, the double pockets. And the Carhartt button, even. Yeah, they are. Beautiful. That's come off jeans, hasn't it? So these, yeah, they're made out of Carhartt old jeans, jackets, whatever they can find. I just want to get one on. Get one on. Of course you do. So this is a medium, but it's, it seems like a quite a large medium. Look at that. So I think I can retail or resell these at about 60, 70 pound. Um, these are different to a lot of the ones that are on the market at the minute. And I love them. Um, I'm going to keep a couple for myself. We've got the check lining on this one. And the cord collar. And the cord love collar. That. Very nice. But, Very um, relaxed. But yeah, it's, it, this is my taste. It's not for everyone. Um, but I do like them. Like I said, it was £480 for 20. So that means it works out at £24 a piece. So even if you was knocking them out at, you know, 50 quid, you've got 26 profit. Obviously, you'd have to take postage and fees off, but you still get some good profit in there. Of course. Um, a lot of vintage shops buy these to put on the shop floor. So that way they won't be paying fees and whatnot. But again, I think I can get 60 plus on these, depending on size and design. I like how they end on the hands. It's really flattering. Yeah, they're real nice. Can you just see the back as well? Yep. Beautiful. So yeah, we've got 20 of these to Let's open. see what else they're 20, like. 20 of these. Let's get in there. That one. Again, real nice. Each one has got the little Carhartt square on it, as you can see. Nice big pocket. And it's kind of like a loose, unfinished thread. That is the style they're going for. Yeah. Um, You've got the black and green on one, a lot of blues on the other. The zips are quality, real nice weight to it as well. Yeah, it's heavy. Do you want to feel it? You might I not be able see. to lift them. Do you want to try one on? I will. And we can wear them for the video. So what size are we looking at here? Another medium? Yeah, yeah, they all seem to have medium on board. And you can see it's got Carhartt made in India. They're actually real nice, beautiful. Really well finished actually. And let me just undo that button for you there, darling. And the... Fleek team haven't like tampered with these and made them better. This is kind of what you get from the supplier, uh, from this certain vendor. So this review is literally just for this vendor. As you can imagine, there's loads of different vendors on there who sell loads of different stuff. And I do know that Fleek are bringing out, which I think is crucial, feedback and reviews. 
Um, so if you if you do have a bad experience with a vendor, obviously try and get yourself a refund, etc., etc. But then you can actually put a review on their account. It's a bit similar to eBay. Negative, positive feedback. I've got loads of positive on eBay. So people yeah. people trust me as a seller. If you see the seller with loads of negative, you'd be like, mm, probably not going to shop there. So I do know that is the next feature they're adding, which I think is crucial, crucial to like this marketplace um, succeeding and being somewhere where we use a lot as well. Um, Can I just say how warm it is first thought when putting it on? It's nice, it's thick. It's, nice. it's like quilted it's almost. Show mine. Beautiful. Fits you good as well. Yeah, I like the relaxed fit. Again, covers the hand slightly. So again, £24 a piece. Not bad at all. No, quality see, denim wear. I've seen wear. a few of the charity shops like get these. Not this style, but different Carhartt reworks. And they put in like 60, 70 quid on them. Oh, look. In a pocket. In a pocket. But I assume more of the same, which is great, because I'm happy so far. I'm happy. Like I say, this is a review of this vendor. My experience on Fleek was great. I went and found the vendor. I'll probably have a little screen recording here. So as you can see, you go on the app and, you know, it says different drops. So latest stuff, you can search by women, men's, Y2K, upcycle, loads of different variations. Whatever you're looking for, a lot of North Face puffers, Patagonia, loads of different bits and pieces. Personally, this is what I was looking for. And Riyadh Vinted just seemed the place to go. So that's where I went. And, and they have succeeded. And it is true what you say, you do pay what you get for. This is probably one of, more, one of the more premium prices. Yeah. But definitely worth it. Yeah, you can tell a lot of work's gone into these. Real, real nice. Again, that's got medium on it, so I guess. To be fair, they might have... Oh, there's a large one here. There you Ricky go. Lee. Ricky Resell's name on it. Because the larges are big. They're big. So, they're all real good quality. They're all the same style of quality. Um, so, yeah, they've not slacked at all. I do know the process on Fleek is you buy it from the the, uh, the vendor. Another large? Yeah, you buy it from the vendor. Oh, I like that one. A lot of greens and blacks in there. Oh, I like that. And then a lot of different colours on the back. You've got the Carhartt zip on there. Really nice finishes. Really nice. Um, so you buy from the vendor initially. They accept your off. Uh, you, they accept your order. They then prepare it, pack it, create it, whatever you need. Depends what they're getting. It then goes to Fleek for quality checks. So Fleek have a quality check in whichever nation you order from. Mm, okay. Um, then they, they go through the box, and if it's not suitable, they will send it back to the wholesaler, which is good. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was good. I feel like it's definitely worth a try to get out your comfort zone and do an order. Yeah. Look at them. Mm. So nice. We're excited to get these on the store. Yeah. Good time of year for them, because they are quite um, toasty. Aren't they? I feel the cold and I'm like, I was cold before I put this on. Real nice. These so, come all the way from India. And a good selling point about them is no two are the same. Mm -hmm. you're never gonna, yeah, they're all the one same, of a kind. Yeah, you're not going to get the same colourway. I like this one. Yeah, I like the greys in that. Nice lot of larges, which is always good. See, it's got the pocket underneath the pocket, kind of. Little double pocket style. I like that. Um, but yeah, big sizes, nothing small, nothing extra small. We've got medium and larges so far, so we'll, we'll fly through it. Um, I'm not going to go through yeah. in detail of everyone because they're very similar, but they're all very well made. And at £24 a piece, I'm very happy with them at the minute. So far, this one, they look like they're getting bigger as we go down. Yeah, some big boys but in yeah, there. Yeah, there's some real nice. I love the tones Carhartt. On them. Look at that, the green of the Carhartt. The colours are real nice. Um, obviously, this is a bit of a similar unboxing because it's all the same stuff. But if this isn't your thing, there's loads of other different stuff on there. A lot of um, women's dresses, a lot of skirts, Y2K stuff, football stuff. Loads of different bits and pieces to get involved with. I like that one. Um, then we're going to XLs as well, which is great. So real big sizes. Not quite Ricky's size yet, but we'll, um, I'm sure there might be a, a triple at the bottom. Yeah, they are so nice. And it's probably me sounding like a broken record. Oh, yeah. So nice, so... But John can't actually, lie either. He's very honest. If you didn't like them, I'm a bad all, liar. It would be all on your face, wouldn't it? Yeah. But I'm actually a, a very bad liar. Yeah. Really bad. Yeah. So you can catch me out. That looks like a big one. A big one, mate. A big one. Oh, look at them. Woo. So if you do use my code, let me know how you get on. Like I said, it's twenty-five pounds off an order of 250 pounds and yeah that i get a small kickback from that 
so you're helping me if you do. Um, so let me know if it's a good experience that you have. Obviously, look through the vendor, see what you think. Um, yeah. This one, personally, was Riage Vintage, like I mentioned. It was based in India. Um, there's loads of different sellers on there, so just have a, have a proper look through and just see what looks better than others, because obviously there will be some that are better than others. So just take your time with it. And, and whilst, um, go on. whilst it is the winter season, it's worth trying a new avenue for people, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. That's why we've done it. Exactly, yeah. Um, so yeah, the, these jackets are just mint. This one's got the Franz Cat Heart logo on. Ooh. You want to just zoom in on that? Just give him a zoom. Ooh. Got the FR Cat Heart. Fine. Really, really cool. Um, yeah, I'm pleased, I'm pleased, I'm pleased, because I'm not going to lie, I've heard of some good things about Fleet, some bad things about Fleet, but me personally, yeah. I've not and that, got and that, much bad to say so far. And that's why you have had good and bad things, because Fleet isn't the one place, it's yeah, got it's, millions it, it's of like people, shops on it. Yeah, it's like people saying they've had a bad experience on eBay, so never trust eBay. Yeah. It's actually the seller on there. Yeah. That's the difference, do you know what I mean? Um, so whether you have a good or bad experience will be on the seller and hopefully that is eliminated by the feedback, the review system and with more years under the belt, it'll just become a more polished and better service. Oh, we're at the end. What's the last Ooh, one? We're getting there, yeah. We're getting there. I've got to count through them just to make sure. I Sorry, didn't... a bit of dust just went up my nose. <laughs> Come all the way from India, that dust. Yeah, they are smart. So I'm going to count them back in the bag. One. Two, three. Bear in mind they're all medium and larges, which is nice, uh, and XLs, so all good sizes. Four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 and 20 with Shah. So we got 20 for 480 pounds, 24 pound a piece. Um, like you say, we could put them in a vintage shop for 50, 60, 70 quid. Sell them on eBay for 60, 70 quid. I think these are a little bit more premium than some of the ones on there, which mm -hmm. are just kind of a couple of block colours. It is really heavy denim. 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 Hmm. Um, but my first ever experience with Fleek is a positive one. Um, and like we say, it's all down to the vendor. Yeah. If there's a real bad seller on eBay, then it wouldn't be down to eBay. It'd be down to the seller that you dealt with. Um, um, yeah. So that is definitely the crucial thing here. I think there's a stigma against Fleek, but it's not their actual service. It's a couple of the sellers on there. It's been smooth sailing for you, hasn't it? The yeah, order so process. Yeah, really, really happy. Um, and in coming videos, you will hear how they're doing, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, you'll see if these sell and was it worth it. Um, and yeah, I might go back to Riage again. See if we can get some more if they sell well, which would be cool. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to try a few more vendors out and see see what else happens. Um, because it is a bit of chalk and cheese at the minute, wholesalers and fleek and all different bits and pieces. But from our end, good so far. If you do want to give it a try yourself, code John Luke, J O N L U C, uh, for 25 quid off your first order over 250. Like most boxes, about 250 ish. Uh, there's some stuff that are less, some are more. But um, yeah, just have a little look, do some research, and see if anything would be suitable for you in your store. Yeah, have a ganders um, and see see what you think. I, honestly, let me know what how you get on if you do use it. And um, I do have direct contact with Fleet, so if anything, you know. Any feedback? Yeah, any feedback or, you want to, you know, let us know. Like we always say, the comment box is an open conversation. Mm -hmm. So John always takes it on board and then feeds back to the yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's their aim. They want to get this feedback, the review system. They want it to be great. They wouldn't be doing it yeah, if, that's... if they, you know what I mean? They, they want to succeed and want it to be a big, big yeah. thing. Because if you want to buy wholesale without shopping on fleet you've got to go on google you've got to find certain you know what i mean you've got to go through a lot you of holes you haven't got a middleman trustworthy it all goes through okay yeah so this is all in one place bang quality check it's, it's a bit more of a better system it's a lot easier you, you don't have to trawl the internet basically um to find a wholesaler which who knows who they are kind of thing which is nice yeah so yeah hope you did enjoy today's video if you do leave a like 
leave a comment down below. Any questions about Fleet, let me know in the comments and I'll try and get back to as many as I can. Um, once again, code John Luke for 25 pound off your first order. I get a small kickback from that, so appreciate it. If you do, let me know any questions, any feedback for Fleet themselves. I'm sure they'll be reading them down below. Um, but overall, I'm very, very happy. We're going to select a few jackets to keep ourselves. We're going to have yeah. some on Whatnot and we're going to have some on our eBay and every every other platform anyway. Yeah. Um, this video will be out on Wednesday. Um, so we will be live tonight on Whatnot at six o'clock. Yep, and one of those jackets is going to be in there. Yeah, maybe so if, maybe two. Maybe two. If you want one, starting at one pound. Yeah, one pound bid. So you can get yourself one. They're really nice. Um, so yeah, Whatnot tonight at six o'clock if, if you're on the Wednesday. It's down in the link in our bio. Yeah, get involved with that. If you do use the link down below as well, you get a free £10 spend. So. No, there's no, no ties attached. to that. No strings attached. Free tenner. I used mine on the first day I downloaded it. Yeah, I've spent way more than that now. I though. have too, but we've got some nice bits. So yeah, hopefully see you on there. Yeah, but hope you did enjoy and I'll see you when I see you. Peace. Bye.